Scumber party. Scumber party. It's a, it's it's <laughs> like a slumber party for your ears. I was just uh, you know I thought it, I'd just keep it it's succinct. It's like a big pair of AI titties. <laughs> oh, slumber we're a, party, dude! Don't get them it's too excited like now. <laughs> they're not going to listen. They're going to make it two minutes into the episode. Yeah, like, well, I got I got to go do something. All right, <laughs> I got to go see a man about a jerking off. <laughs> You, know, you gotta see old. a man about <laughs> jerking off. I love Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> wait, no, no, wait a minute, no, wait a minute. <laughs> How you like them apples? Um, let's just can we just redo it? Yeah, uh, I don't want to scumber party. It's like a big set of tits. Yeah. Well, how are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, pretty good, man. <laughs> wow. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I yeah. like that. Let's just keep that one rolling for future apps. Oh, good. Uh-huh. Good, good, good. I can't tell any of my family to listen to the podcast. Yeah. I think mine still does against everyone's better judgment, and it's probably why they haven't talked. Their will. Do your parents listen to it? Uh, (laughs) Against their will. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It was a weird Christmas. I'll tell you that much. (laughs) Um, My parents, I don't think they do. I think this has come up on the pod before. I don't think they do, but there was a period of time where they weren't talking to me really. So that might maybe they were. That was it. Yeah. That was when they were. (laughs) I think that's when they were listening. Yeah. Your mom followed me on Instagram, so I was like, damn, nice. did I finally crack? I, and I think most of your family follows me. You're going to get the Tamara Murphy bump. Yeah. Watch no, out for oh that. Yeah. I've already yep. gotten so many followers from it. That's how I got new faces. <laughs> my, mom, my mom fo- finally followed me on Instagram. <laughs> is it Tamara? Tamara. Yeah, she doesn't go by Tammy. Shout out to Tamara. Yeah. We love you. Yeah. She's not going to listen. I'm sorry Guys, that your son is doing what he's doing. <laughs> this was not the first episode released since the show but this is our first one that we recorded since the live show at cap city Mm -hmm. and it was fucking great it was a blast and a half i had a couple issues with it but i think overall it was a good time (laughs) it was was really fun and everyone was treated well Mm, yeah okay was no one was insulted i wish there was like a challenge you know how the nba has the the challenge time we don't have those here at comedy it's a challenge to hang out with you if that's what you meant Wow, this feels like the show. I was again. gonna say, I'm bringing it back. <laughs> this feels like the show. No, I'll bully uh, Danny today yeah. to even it out. Yeah. So yeah, no, it was it was interesting. It was interesting. I'll say that it was really fun. <laughs> we had a great time. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for coming out, everybody. Thanks for coming truly, out. Truly. Yeah. We, yeah. You, we noticed some people, and I think there were some people, uh, probably a large majority of people there, did not know who we were, uh-huh. and everyone still had a great time. Yeah, I saw like I saw like a couple older couples. That were like like gray hair couples sitting mm-hmm. in the audience, and they looked like they were having a, a swell yes, time. Just awesome. ancient, decrepit looking. Yeah, it was couples. all old people. It yeah. was crazy. No, the, but there were some people that came out specifically for the podcast, and that was really cool too. Very yeah. cool. Very very cool. And we love you guys for sure. Some people who didn't, they, I feel like there's people who listen to this who act uh, like they're they're like embarrassed on our behalf that they like the show if that makes sense <laughs> who, they'll go like ah, i listen to like every episode <laughs> like like they're saying it like it's this confet like please tell us follow us uh, message yeah. if you like a story or a snack or a movie segment uh, you know give us some feedback we'd love to talk about the show we are three of the most narcissistic people you'll ever Absolutely. meet yeah we're getting told yeah. that all the time yeah don't don't be ashamed come on and yeah. fucking tell us that you listen to every word we say yeah. you know we have fucking bulimic egos. You well, know what yeah. I mean? Like, we just, just feed them. You know what I mean? Binge I think I would be embarrassed to purge fight. these episodes <laughs> out every goddamn fucking week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I think it is going to be a bully Danny day. It yeah, is. we need to, like, reset the order. We need nah. to maintain no, balance no, here no, after actually, the live show. We need to gang up on her. We've never done that. And we need to do it in a way that doesn't sound... Sexist. Yeah. And that uh-huh. is truly in a way a that challenge. keeps the vultures away. Yeah. And vulture the actual publication. Uh, yeah. I say we just gang up on Danny. It's so easy. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, look at him. You yeah. already split on it, it seems like. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I feel like you've been whole. You've been kind of the neck that turns the head of yeah, this podcast, yeah. and uh, I think we got to flip it. You know, yeah, it's time we. Yeah, it's come at me. I'll give you guys a. Mo- yeah, I'll give you guys. Come on, go for cut it. Cut that throat. You right. might as well be Again. Nicole Simpson over there. Yeah, you're gonna cut my throat. <laughs> Again, we have to find a way to not be 
Oh, sorry. Misogynistic was the Nicole Simpson thing too much? Okay, I'm sorry. Women. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It, it's but funny. Ash, Even we're if, coming for you. When you guys <laughs> are right? mean to me, it's just fodder that I will use for later on when you get jobs. Mm. And I'll use those clips to get you fired. So okay. give it your all. All right. Yeah. Well, you can't get canceled from a moving job. Believe me, I've tried. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure many of your did coworkers. You? I thought you oh. did for having sex with the cat. Dude, we'd be uh, <laughs> having sex with the cat. No, I actually got a promotion after that. And it was you weird. Said it. They were like, that's what we, that's actually, it's in the perfect placement in the yeah. house at this point. So I don't know, man. Sometimes you got to break a few eggs. Sometimes you got to fuck a few cats. <laughs> sure, to, uh, sure. Move a couch. Cats. I've yeah, why did never you say had cats? sex with a cat. Wait, does that know what you said? I what said did I hear? couch. Couch, dude. <laughs> Please, cats. come on. There's a huge difference. <laughs> Maybe between I was the two. hoping for cats. Yeah, what's wrong? <laughs> You're a real sick fuck, you know yeah. that, dude? <laughs> right, right. You're a sicko. I, I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's, Let's just let that anyways. sit for a <laughs> yeah, second. Yeah. <laughs> I say we start this goddamn s- fucking slumber bitch sure. ass party. Sure, yeah. yeah. Fuck shit. You guys ass. are so cursed today. Word. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, uh, I, I mean, oh shit, the 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 timer stopped. How are we gonna know when to end? Um, we we did a look. I'm gonna say this. We we do chapters for our films, right? We do we do monthly chapters, and I'm just gonna call it now that it's behind us. Uh, the the January chapter was a was a huge failure. Uh, I really think it yeah. did not. Yeah, it was. We did not succeed in what we were trying to do. We were trying to like shit on some movies, but we all either agreed or just didn't care enough to argue. Yeah. Or we had fireworks. Or we man. hadn't seen them. Yeah. Yeah, we were just like, yeah, I I believe you, and I won't watch it now. And then it was done. I was putting on the armor, you know, like I was ready for someone to go after like Silence of the Lambs You're and be ready. like, whoa. And it was just like a bunch of movies that no. I think no one really cared about that much. So. I ready. like Coda. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. I do too, Ashley. And weird, weird choice for yeah. the final week. Why why is that a weird choice? Uh you know. I think Danny mentioned on the last show you're an enemy to the deaf, and yeah. it's just something that like we, we you know it doesn't get talked about. Enough, and but, you, you know we've said an it enemy once. to anyone with senses. Oh, okay, they can see right. you, okay. smell you, taste you. God forbid. Whoa, yeah. it's uh, we said it's it pretty once. upsetting. We'll say it again. Shout out to all our deaf listeners. Absolutely. <laughs> Shout out might not be the right word, but we appreciate you. We see you. Um, anyways, so I think this you month. You see them. What do you see? Them? All right. Yeah. Man, listen. <laughs> this you is stalking. They're, Deaf people. This episode's off the rails. I don't <laughs> even know if there's rails to begin with, man. This is a train in a in a shopping mall. Uh, let's Sounds let's get fun. on course. Uh, and speaking of train in a shopping mall, that's the kind of scene that might be in the type of film that we are doing for our February chapter. Whoa. Okay. That was convoluted. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a little unwieldy. But what I'm trying to say is that for the month of February, we're doing fuck yeah February. Mm. Fuck yeah. And that kind of just means whatever we want it to mean. But basically, we're trying to pick movies where if you're at a slumber party or any party for that matter, someone goes, hey, do you want to watch fill in the blank? Everyone goes, fuck, yeah. It's not, you know, we've done a few art house in a row. We've done a few indie. Nothing wrong with that. We do love movies like that. But I think we're going to course correct this month and just pick some fucking bangers. Yeah. Sometimes a banger is just a banger. Bangers. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Banger February. Yeah. Yeah, it's I got a nice ring to don't. it. I think "fuck yeah" February works a little bit better. But ba- good, movie I agree. February. <laughs> I don't want Danny saying "banger." Now that rolls off. The it doesn't sound nice. We don't yeah. want to hear about things that roll off your tongue. Yeah, what like stale no. Cheetos at night no. when you fall asleep eating them. <laughs> We're gonna call it February, <laughs> <laughs> and we we found it. We found it, and that folks is improv. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna call it. A day and actually shut down shop after you made that noise. So for the first uh, entry of February, what do you have for us today, Marv? You make me. Oh Ill. man, I have a of a pick, yes. and it is, it is the film and a little backstory. Come on, you know I'm never just gonna say the film. Of I'm gonna course. build that shit up. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, you're never gonna just tell us. Little change in the old Murph dog's life. Just a little uh, uh, a newsletter for me. Uh, I got myself a dog. Got myself Woo! a puppy. That's right. That's right. And um, he's on his last legs. I am not a good caretaker. What? But Don't uh, say that. He's oh, so shit. cute. <laughs> Why would you say I'm that? I'm kidding. He's adorable. <laughs> Every time I leave the house, I'm heartbroken. It is. Uh, it's devastating leaving this little guy. The cutest little guy. His name's his name's Bubs. He's very cute. He's a he's a little Bernese mountain dog. 
Uh, he's going to be a giant. He's going to be a menace. He's an animal. How big is he supposed to get? These things get big. Bernese Uh, Mountain Dogs get really big. He's a mix. I don't think he's pure Bernese, but whatever he's mixed with ain't no small dog, I'll tell you that much. He's already big, and he's a pup. Oh, he's like, yeah, his paws are like, he's already kind of like scaring me a little bit. (laughs) I got to figure out how to get this guy under control. Uh, But... Uh, it's great. It's great having a dog. It's good to feel loved by something. <clears throat> you know what I mean? It's really going to happen here. Uh, yeah. So I'm glad you got a dog. Yeah, sorry. Um, but in honor of me getting a new dog, in honor of Fuck Yeah February, I'm picking the movie Dog by Channing Tatum. <laughs> this movie came out. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. What? What's the problem? I mean... Keep going. Okay. All right. Have you seen it? I have not. I saw the trailers and I... I didn't say fuck yeah one time. Okay, what are you talking about? Nor no, did I <laughs> at all. No, all right. Well, no one's. <laughs> well, I did that, but I also didn't. No see one's it. doing that for a movie called Dog. I would hope, <laughs> Danny. All right. Well, you know what? Sell us. I like this. I, I feel. I feel like I was sold immediately after the trailer. Like I was like, okay, Channing Tatum. In my opinion, one of our best unsung leading men. I not that it. he's not sung, but he's a little less sung. Than the the Robert Pattinsons and the Timothy Chalamets and that. the the cross between a total handsome devil and an actual acting talent, I feel like Channing Tatum is has been consistently great in almost everything he's done. The beginning of his career, he was uh, pretty hunky, sure. and I was like, I didn't, I don't know if he's got it in him. Right. And then I think 2012 was both Magic Mike and 21 Jump, Jump Street, Street. Yeah. so mm-hmm. it's like. That's kind of him showing he wanted to do some some, some stuff, real man. Stuff. Yeah. And then he did Foxcatcher. He did. Uh, mm-hmm. He had a he had a bit role in Hateful Eight, which I think kind of stole the movie. If you've seen that, I don't like uh, that movie. I'm not a big Hateful Eight guy, but I rewatched it recently, and I'm like, man, he's great in it. He he really he does like he's he's a good utility guy, or he can be the leading man. You can use him in small doses. He also has a, a really good like scene stealer cameo in Hail Caesar. Uh, which mm-hmm. I think is an underrated Coen Brothers movie. Uh, he's fantastic in that. He's. I'm. I'm really looking forward to the Magic Mike's Last Dance coming out soon. I'm psyched about that. Yeah, That'll be mm-hmm. fun. And the guy directing that was also co-director of Dog, uh, alongside Channing Tatum. This is his directorial debut. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mm. So, th- look. I watched this the other day. I watched it with Bubs. Bubs loved it. Um, oh. You know, he chewed my things slightly less than usual. Although he did get hold of my passport the other day, and that barely made it out alive. Damn. Oh, yeah. Where do you keep your passport where the dog has access? To I it? have a little station on the floor <laughs> for things. Don't keep your passport on the floor. <laughs> it's what easy for floods? me to just pick it up as I'm going, station. as I'm heading out the door. They I go, tell you Whoo. to keep your passport and vital documents up high. <laughs> yeah, do they? <laughs> Yes, and in a fireproof box. Okay, all right, <laughs> fireproof. He puts it right with the chew toys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, I put it on the floor with the chemical. I put it in my bathtub. Things I need to grab quick in certain situations. What? Um, but but Bubs loved it. I loved it. This is a movie about uh, uh, army, <laughs> um, ar- army veteran. He was an army ranger. <laughs> keep it on the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I don't actually keep it on the floor. You don't actually think that of me. I really do. Okay, well, <laughs> pretty much everything I own is on the floor now because this thing is a, he's a little terror, okay? Yeah. He's got some, there's some puppy anarchy going on in my Aww. house. Hmm. I'm on his side. Yeah. No, I'm, I am too. I'm a huge pushover. I, I probably am no, not. I know. Okay, well, he, he's he's adorable, and I, I really like this movie. The dog who who plays... So, all right, let me, let me lay out the plot for you. Uh, Channing Tatum plays an army veteran who um, has been discharged because of a brain injury. His life is in the shitter. He's working at, like, a Panera Bread or something. He keeps trying to get on this uh, rotation in Pakistan and can't do it. And so one of his buddies, uh, one of his buddies from the service dies, and so... While he's out on the town with some old army buddies, one of the guys says, look, we can't put you back on rotation, but we do need someone to drive your fallen comrade's dog to the funeral. That was like part of his request. And so Channing Tatum and this dog go on a road trip to bring this dog to the funeral. The dog is acting up because he's a he's an he's army sad, dog. He's a service yeah. dog. Like he's an army dog. It's kind of his job. He's his job is to like freak out when there's danger and attack. And Channing Tatum is just really I love the character that he that was written for him in this movie. It's like a really dynamic character. He's got like a lot of layers to him. He's like an army guy who's not like an annoying like 
they're never annoying about army stuff or military stuff in this movie. They address like some of the issues with it. They don't. It's not like they're like uh, belittling people who are in the service, but there's no like jingoistic like yes, like support the troops because that just doesn't really work in today's climate. You know, it still sounds like fascist propaganda to me. <laughs> all right, all dude. Right. Okay, it's fucking bullshit. I'm gonna solve this. All right, this. go fucking. You know, you can go to uh, Chapo Trap House yeah. or whatever other like yeah. leftist. Dude, don't mention Chapo. Yeah. And, and, hide, and hide behind Tifa. your fucking dog, U.S. military. Oh my god, dude. We know what you. I are. hope there's a couple in this fucking building, dude, <laughs> and I hope there's a service dog who can pick up sonar, and comes bites your nards off, oh. and so that you can never say anything like that again. I happen to support the troops. Okay, I, I think... do have a bitch sniffing dog in here, and he's Ooh, coming for Danny. Yeah, and it's a bitch too. It's a bitch sniffing a bitch. Well, I wouldn't call her a bitch. She's much cooler than Danny. <laughs> She's kind of a badass. Yeah. Well. Uh, I'm sold on this. That's you are sweet. sold because you have a heart. I have a heart. Antifa I've, over here. Yeah. No heart. I've worked at no the empathy. VA. People are and their service dogs have very special bonds. Yeah. And who am I to deny that? Yeah. 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 Danny. You're right. What do you have to say for yourself? What do you have to say to huh? yourself? Real time um, with Bill Maher over here. I come from a military family. Mm. Yeah. What is your dad going to think? Um, I think he's going to love me anyways. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah, his dad's a sweetheart. Shit's yeah, getting shit. real, dude. And, um, you know what? I support the troops, too. Yeah, there we go. Come on, man. You didn't have to, you just had to say the movie sounded nice. Yeah. I mean, you can support the troops, too, if you would No, like. I, I stand for everything that they've ever done. <laughs> but I won't watch this movie. Wow. <laughs> wow. This has been a roller coaster of. Danny. I was just thinking about all the, do, all the things. Take, do, <laughs> if you do three push ups, oh, if you do, do three push ups, I'll agree with you. I don't even think there's enough room in the studio to do a push up. Yeah, there's no. a yeah, lot Danny's going on like, in here. Yeah, yeah, no, that's why I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we'd break a Man, major piece of if equipment. If there was space, I'd already be doing them right yeah, now. Okay. But that, uh, that's how I would record. Someone needs to send your up. ass to the army for a week, dude. See how you last over there during Hell Week. <laughs> All right. I think I do really good. Yeah, I think you do good too. I think I'm strong. Yeah. And I think I could survive. Yeah. Um,. No, it honestly <laughs> sounds like a pretty good, good movie, the way you've uh, described it. I think I like the line that you said, it kind of toes, where it's not like too, um, I don't know, like military propaganda -y. Yeah. But it's also like talking about some of the real issues. Right. Got a cute dog. What kind of dog is it? It is a, oh, it's a man. Shepherd, it's it? a, no, I had this, I had it. I was it. picturing it. It's, it's kind of a very specific one. <laughs> Shit, let me, can I'll look it up real quick. It's like a Bermuda, Burmese, a Bur Burmese Val. Is that one? Is that mm, something? I feel like I'm pretty good on it. I'm um, close. My only experience with a military uh, dog. Belgian M Malin? A Belgian Mal. Mal. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, there's a there's a full kind of like Latin name for it, but it's like a oh, Belgian Mal. Oh, it is Mal. very, um, it is very German Shepherd-esque. It's, it's, yeah. But this is a gorgeous kind of dog. Very distinct facial features. Yes. Like the eyes are so expressive and whoever the, was playing oh. this dog. <laughs> Look at the baby one. Oh, goodness. Um, yeah. He's like this. I used to work at a movie theater and they were doing like a premiere for Lone Survivor, mm. the Mark Wahlberg movie. And the real guy was there, Marcus Luttrell or whatever. Mm. And he had like his like, he wasn't watching the movie. He was just like, I think he just went to see Anchorman 2 or something because <laughs> I think he'd already probably seen it. He was with his like, he had his yellow lab with him. Yeah. And it was the most well behaved dog sure. I've ever seen in my life. And it really, it really stuck with me. Very much blew me away. Like, no leash, no nothing. This guy was just yeah. like walking in stride right with, uh, this dog right put with up Marcus. A good performance oh, so good. I think the dog's name in the movie is Lulu, but like Channing Tatum just calls him dog. But like his name's That's Lulu. So and then, and then at the end, yeah, it, <laughs> at the end of the movie, actually, after the credits, not to get total bummer here, but uh, the dog, I think, passed no, away. What? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Overdosed on heroin. Oh, uh, Hollywood's shit. a tricky bitch, man. Yeah, yeah Hollywood's dog, a tricky bitch. Like the real dog passed away? I think so. I think so. I think it said, it said in remembrance of Lulu. And you don't remember dogs who are alive. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you pet them and hang out with them. I can't think of a single alive dog right now. 
uh, so oh, anyways, man, I'm so sad. Yeah, it was it was and and also like the there are shades of real sadness in the movie, but it's like a comedy feel good movie that doesn't get bogged down in its darker like detours. Yeah. I feel like a lot of comedies now they're like we're a dark comedy, and by that they mean the last thirty minutes are just the, the most soul crushing. Like nihilistic, jaded thirty minutes. You know, like banshees. <laughs> not even banshees, though. Like I'm trying to think of like there's like comedies are so dark now. Even like Palm Springs, I was like, why does it get so depressing in the last twenty minutes? Can we can we find a balance here? It's okay like to have Springs, darker but I elements. Get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I, I just and Dog does that well because after the funeral, Channing is his character is instructed to take the dog to get euthanized because it's like one of the dogs who's acting up but well no spoilers but let's just say it doesn't go exactly how they're planning (laughs) he dies before the funeral no No, i'm kidding no that's so sad no stop thinking about the dog dying josh you know what i'm talking about and the real Um, dog died i'm so sad no 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 no. this is a feel-good movie in every way i'll tell i know without giving out any spoilers Feel good. Um, there's yeah, you're a, making me feel great right now. And it, <laughs> it's relatable, too. Like, there's a scene where, like, Channing Tatum goes to Portland, and he's about to have a three-way with, like, two tens. Oh. Been there, been there. You know, and... Um, what, to Portland twice? A, a, a three-they, <laughs> as they call it in Portland. But, uh, you know what I mean? And I can't... I'm not going to laugh at that. What? That's just what you're supposed to call it. You're not supposed to call it that. <laughs> you're not supposed to go to Portland anymore uh. after the incident. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed in Portland. That's a different podcast. <laughs> Anyways, the dog ruined the, the dog totally cock blocks him, man. And uh, I haven't had any ladies over to my house since I've gotten the dog, but I can just imagine that'd probably be what happens. Because this dog is just a total terror. You, you know? have to have potential for fucking for you to actually relate to that. So I, I've got pretty good FP fucking potential. <laughs> okay. I have a high FP rate. Fucking potential piss me <laughs> off right now, dude. All right, well, I don't know. I, look, I, this has been a very confusing uh, endorsement for the film Dog. Yeah. But I related to it. Uh, I found Channing a, a relatable character. I found the dog a relatable character. <laughs> and uh, Stop laughing at this dog. <laughs> we all got that dog in him. You know what I mean? Relatable. We all got that dog in him. And, uh, this is a sad, nice movie about a dog. Yeah. What's so funny, Danny? It's. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, I might watch it. You've honestly sold me. Because yeah, I started this thinking, like, man, that movie looked like absolute dog shit when I saw. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Speaking um, of my apartment, that thing is not potty trained. <laughs> uh, oh, but now you've kind of. Awesome. But but now you've sold me. And you know what? I do like Channing Tatum. So I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll check this thing out. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dog. It's Fuck yeah, dog. Great first. <laughs> Entry. I really. Your mouth is getting drier the more you do that. (laughs) Yeah. It's a real like cackly, crackly. His mouth isn't supposed to make that noise. Right. They didn't include that function when they made you. (laughs) Um, Ash, you're throwing a lot of insults around this round. So you must be really confident in the snack you made. Should you bring that thing out or? Yeah, Yeah. I think so. I think Ashley should bring out the snack. The time has come. Yeah. What do you okay. got? Listen, it's controversial. Mm. And what do you mean? Shut up, Danny. <laughs> you texted us before the podcast, a little peek behind the this scenes. You said this wouldn't be an issue, <sighs> anyways. Yeah. Okay. You said be very open-minded was what you texted. So that you know yeah. what I'm gonna. And I'm nothing, nothing if not open-minded. Okay. Okay. For Tupperware my, for my snack today. I uh, Whoa. Uh, went to P. Terry's and got a sell cheeseburgers <laughs> and fries. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> because the lines at the grocery stores were insane. And I, only I know, like I was there hour. today buying ingredients for the snack that I made. Did you really? So that's when I yeah. saw <laughs> right, Josh? that the lines. Josh Listen, pumped. keep being mad at me, but you Dude. gotta eat no, a I'm cheese. not mad. I'm just saying. I mean, you are, I'm not mad either. You are disqualified. I mean, you, this is uh, this is like if you know on chopped if they don't use one of the main ingredients. I don't. I will take it. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't know which right. one's the well, veggie. Let's break it down. And for wait, you there's know. one for you too, Josh. But I can't find it's it. Oh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, this does smell so good. I know, it's right? Be... Keep being mad at me. I don't give. <laughs> there's no way this isn't better than every Listen. single thing we've eaten. On I mean, here. you're opening the door to me making there a lot is. of fast food stops on future it's episodes classic. right now. It's 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 gonna hit so good. It's cold. 
fast I worked, food burger. I worked really late, and um, and look, I mean, it's mine is a veggie burger, but so fast. can I get can I get the fries? Yeah, mm -hmm. dude. Go. Get in there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You can disqualify me. You can be mad at me, but damn, if it's I'm not. I'm not mad. All right, don't. Let's not do the. I'm not. It's not immediate, you know. <laughs> I mean, you I will, am reconsidering be. a couple things. You will be. Mm -hmm. no, you will be disqualified. For but, sure. But we're happy right now. Yeah. I was also up until the wee hours of the morning caring for my dog, and I still made it to the grocery store. I take care of um, the ill, the chronically ill, mm. uh, and homeless people, and there's a freeze going on. So then we kind of have like a, we can relate to each other on that. <laughs> we have a lot of similarities there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, this is really good. Are you calling homeless people dogs? Yo, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. I'm not calling my dog a homeless person. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my friends. Those are people, Murphy. Those are your friends. Those, those are your neighbors. They are friends. Also, half of my patients that we get housed have nicer apartments than you, Bucko. So, <laughs> have you seen my apartment? It's covered in dog shit. By no, your I clean it up pretty soon after it happens. There's no shit in my patients' apartments. There's a one to two business day turnaround for when my dog shits on the floor. I got a lot of stuff going on, but it's pretty clean right now. And we're going to eat the food that you made there? <laughs> I don't make it on the floor, too. <laughs> Just because I keep all my documents there. Doesn't mean I'm cooking as well. Oh, man, I learned something this uh, weekend. I heard that a lot of Danny's inspirations for his snacks come from Sawyer. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who said that? Sawyer. <laughs> <laughs> well. And I'll tell you what. Sawyer is a way, way better cook than anything that Danny has ever made. Yeah, that's that's Sawyer just telling on himself, I guess, because yeah. I come with shit most of the time. Yeah, Sawyer you know? makes really good food. <laughs> Damn, this is so much better than anything we've ever had on I know. the show. I know. Isn't this, <laughs> this just is putting so you in a good, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was hungry coming into this, too. Mm -hmm. I was like, I can whip together some total shit, or I can be really nice to our friends, buy us some nice burgs and I'll, fries. I'll take care of the total shit part in next episode. You'll see. Here's an interesting thing. I figured you had it covered. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought I could do something fun. Mm -hmm. God, I'm so glad I did this. <laughs> I am too, even though you will be dealt with <laughs> it's, in the elimination round. Dude, there's bigger things than getting voted off the pod. Mm -hmm. Actually, I know you've whispered that to yourself in front of the mirror, <laughs> contemplating suicide. Jesus so. <laughs> Christ, you didn't have to go all push a T with it. Jesus. <laughs> Ashley asked me an interesting question. Um, she... I. I guess just because you've never really eaten beef before. Oh yeah. You In the process of ordering this, I had a wild uh uh revelation. Mm. You can tell them. Well no no. I, I still don't totally understand it, so well. I didn't know the difference between a hamburger and a cheeseburger because I've never had either. Um and so I guess I thought a hamburger had like Meat, onions, lettuce, tomato, ketchup, and mustard, and cheese. Mm -hmm. And then I thought a cheeseburger was just like bread, meat, and cheese. Why? No. Oh. Why I've did never, you think that? Why would? Why? How would I know the difference? Well, look, I'm not going to try and insult your intelligence here, but one <laughs> of the burgers you mentioned has the word cheese in it. Yeah, but I just thought it was called a cheeseburger because it's just cheese. Oh, oh! You thought it was just cheese? Yeah, like, I honestly, thought it was like. It kind of makes sense when. Oh, she says all right, it. all right. Like I misunderstood. When, I thought you were like just flipping them, like a hamburger or cheeseburger situation. No, no. I, like, I honestly, anytime I've seen like a commercial for a hamburger, and when people draw a hamburger in ca cartoons, it has cheese on it. Yeah, you ever get the McCheese at McDonald's? Is that where secret just, menu item? Is that just where it's bread and cheese? Yeah, we yes, used I, to make them in the kitchen. You just you just flip the the uh, the buns around and put a, a couple pieces of cheese in there, and then just put the whole thing in the toaster, grilled cheese for you. I used to get that all the time. Yeah, this question though, and I'm not saying this to be like, oh, she's stupid. I'm more like saying, it, I'm flipping it on me. I'm like, oh, ordering hamburgers and cheeseburgers has been such a constant. In my life, for so long, mm -hmm. that I've always known this distinction, and uh, I should maybe eat less burgers, yeah, and, and probably should have until this point as well, yeah. Um, but 
I ain't fucking stopping. You know what I mean? No, man. I've had a great life, <laughs> and I've always eaten cheeseburgers. Yeah, you and gotta start, dude. This if anything, this is a time to remember to to think about people less fortunate than us who do not have, who have dietary restrictions. Mm-hmm. On, on, I, I will say this: I do love P. Terry's veggie burger, and in, in fact, I get that almost maybe more so than the uh, the cheeseburger. It's so good. It's really it's good. So good. There really aren't many places that have like a legit good veggie burger, um, unless I'm. Like, f- to get them quick, right? Yeah. Yeah, especially yeah, especially for fast food, this is the best one. Yeah, like, yeah. what a burger doesn't have one? I don't even think the main, like, national ones. Does Burger King have one? No. So. no. They have the Beyond Burger. They have oh. a Beyond Burger. Oh, okay. I don't like those. No, I'll, I'll take Impossible a veggie burger. Impossible and Beyond are yeah. not that good to me. This is a black bean burger, and it's very good. When did we as a society, just kind of, like, not to go off on too much of a tangent, but when did we decide that Burger King is bad? Like, I feel like that's just become, like, a common, like, hot take now that Burger King sucks and McDonald's the victor. I I have Burger t- King pretty frequently. The Whopper fucking rules. The Whopper is, like, I think the best fast food burger, in my opinion. Is that the square opinion. one? Nah. Which one is no? the square one? Jack I'm, not, I'm not a big... Oh, no. Wendy's is square. Mm. Oh, oh, actually, Wendy's is probably my favorite fast food place, yeah. if I'm being I'm real. I'm thinking the Dude, old Jack I in the Box. I love Wendy's. Wendy's kicks ass. It's got the... It's got the for vegetarians, it's yeah. got the baked potato... And then it's got fries and a frosty. That's like top yeah. tier, really good. Yeah, I haven't I haven't liked Burger King since Good Burger because uh. I thought Burger King was <laughs> that. You know, they're putting chemicals in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that might that is probably true. I mean, I don't. You know, I'm not saying anything about their practices behind closed doors, but I I do enjoy Burger King still. I like the I like when I get a whiff of it. I'm like, oh man, there's a nostalgic element to it. You guys remember you get like those birthday packages there, you know, when you go to Burger King on your birthday? They're having a real moment with this new commercial. Mm. Everyone's so fucking annoyed by this song and the oh. commercials. What song is it? The BK, the Whopper Whopper. Ma, 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 ma. It's in like every fucking Oh, I game. haven't heard it. You haven't heard it? No. Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm talking about. It's a jingle that they have that. It's like an old Navy commercial almost, I feel like. Yeah, and it's just like you can almost kind of hear the pain in the man's voice that's singing it. And not <laughs> not out of passion, but no. like he's... Uh... And then he whispers, don't eat this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah please. They're going real Someone's medieval saying. on his ass. Yeah, yeah he's <laughs> singing that in some stocks. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, honestly, it, it's weird you haven't heard it. I Because it's in like... I get maybe for you because it's just it's every football game is playing it. Yeah, I don't watch. Um, I'm a I'm an NBA guy. Same. I hear the push a T. Boom, 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 boom. That one's that that's a bop, dude. He actually has like a full song where he like raps over that beat too, and he like he like disses McDonald's. Uh, He's like, "You are hiding really? a child, McDonald's." Oh. <laughs> he goes full <laughs> like <laughs> story of adding on on it. But um, this is you know, hey Ashley, thank you for buying dinner. Um, <laughs> it is really a shame that we just have to adhere to the rule book on this. I'm but, okay with it. But listen. We still got a Danny story to get to. So if you're ever safe from the axe, it might be this episode right here. He was writing it before it started. Oh, no. And he looked really upset. Oh, yeah. You did seem like forlorn. (laughs) Hold on. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, I'm chewing my disqualified snack. Um, (laughs) I'm chewing my um, cheating snack. Um, We're going to see how this is going to go together. With fries in our bellies. Mm-hmm. That shouldn't have been there because it's against the rules. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I can't lose. I either got P. Terry's and got voted off by two men I don't think highly of. <laughs> <laughs> or I get to watch us act Danny even though it's against the rules, which is really funny. You know what they say. For every great man, there's a woman behind him who don't think highly of him. You know? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, something like that. For you, it's probably behind every man is several women that don't think highly of them. Hey, at least I've been with several women, huh? I that's did not say sick, that. Hey, that's kind of cool, you know? I that, did not that say is that. That is badass, dude. I put my stamp on the map in one way or another. I didn't say they slept with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you think if you know a woman, you must have slept with her? No. Uh, let's get to Danny's story here. <laughs> They're behind him, dude. <laughs> Fucking them, dude. Behind I'm not them. getting pegged by any women. Man, <laughs> if that's what you're trying to say, it does not. I was gonna go men only. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Danny, we. I'm chomping at the bit to get to this story, dude. All right. Chomping at your disqualified sandwich. 
enough games. Are you guys ready for my fucking story or what? Sure, language. All right. But yeah. <laughs> Go. I wrote the beginning. <laughs> I wrote. <laughs> you always write the beginning. There he is, Mom. There's the greatest player in the world. Jimmy Two-Step Baker was the slickest point guard in the game. Mm. He had the smoothest, silkiest moves on the basketball court. And everybody loved him. Jimmy, do you think we could get an autograph? Asked the little boy standing by his mother. <laughs> hey, kid, said Jimmy. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> He, on the other hand, did not love anyone. He was a selfish man who focused his entire life on basketball and avoiding people entirely. The loneliness that this might have brought him could be cured by a 40-point performance, even if only for a little bit. However, when not in his six-story mansion, he practiced on a neighborhood court he'd been going to since he was a kid. Today, however, there was someone already there. Hey man, this is my court. Scram, said Jimmy. The figure holding the basketball turned around. He looked like a wizard. Oh no, the book's closed. That yeah, means just for the listeners at home, we have, we have passed through the tunnel of the written content and we are going into no man's land. I will say, even the first sentence afterwards, you close the book and then you're like, the, bas the basketball is being held backwards. Yeah, yeah. Get ready for, sorry. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry, Excuse me. Sorry. sorry. The figure turned around. He looked like a wizard. He said to Jimmy, I'll play you for it. Is this Chris Tops? It's Kyle Kuzma. <laughs> yes. Okay. That was going to be a reveal. But I'm sorry. I, uh, I'm you know, sorry. honestly, I didn't write it, so. <laughs> All right. Played a little game. Uh, I think you guys know it well. It's, it's a game called Horse. And Jimmy was confident he was going to win this game. Pulls up, half court, drains it. Jimmy hands the ball to the wizard, <laughs> to, to Kyle Kuzma, <laughs> and he says, you're up. Wizard drains it without I've even never, fucking looking. I've never heard drains it as a term for... That's right. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn. Hold on. Aren't you disqualified? What? <laughs> Me being disqualified doesn't mean that your story is, is uh, good, but... <laughs> The wizard goes, I've got a shot for you. He snaps his fingers, and the ball appears right above the rim and goes right in. Oh, Jimmy's like, what the hell? He snaps his fingers, falls over, skins his knee. H. Who falls over and skins his knee? Jimmy Two-Step Baker did oh. in this Man, instance. we got a whole orse to get through. <laughs> and then, up, everybody. And it really slows down the book is to. Jimmy fucking <laughs> loses horse to the wizard. Okay. And I appreciate you just yeah. kind of moving yeah. that part along. No, I, this is a quick story. Someone <laughs> just like describing basketball <laughs> is one of the more <laughs> procedural things it was to listen to. a long game of horse, but okay. in the end, Jimmy did lose to the wizard. Okay. okay. Wizard kept the basketball court. Jimmy went, fuck. <laughs> he walks home. <laughs> yeah. Can't believe I played that four hour game of horse. <laughs> And still lost it. He goes home to his six-story mansion. And, yeah, he had to take the court from the child or the young man who was playing there, even though he has a mansion? Yeah, he plays at the neighborhood court that he grew up on. Oh. Yeah. And um, goes goes home beside himself. I'm Jimmy Two-Step Baker. When the, why the fuck would I lose at a game of horse? This is ridiculous. And he goes to bed. Wakes up the next morning. He wakes up craving hay. <laughs> Man, I, I like how you, I know you thought these are all going to be left turns, but boy, we're turning right on green with all of these. I literally, I literally wrote down, woke up, dot, 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 craving hay. 
Yep. Yep. <laughs> he looks at his hands. They're fucking hooves. Oh, man. Jimmy's a horse now, all right? He's oh, a fucking horse. It also literally, I did not realize it literally says it's Kyle Kuzma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Roll Please tell guy. me there's a pig coming in a few episodes. I like this premise. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wait, it says gallop, gallops to the court to reverse the curse. Yeah. Gallops. Well, hold on. Hey. Whoa. 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 That's a Spoilers. sacred text. What are we doing yeah. here? Yeah, come on. I'm already on. disqualified. I can do whatever I want. All right. Well, that remains to be seen, Ashley. Just want <laughs> to let you know. <laughs> yeah. Danny's I, throwing a couple wrenches into the mix here. <laughs> looks, at his, looks at his hooves. He's like, I'm a fucking horse. Who could have predicted this to happen? <laughs> and uh, he's beside himself. All right. He's got a big game. He's fucking Jimmy Two Step Baker. All right. He's always got big games, you know? And uh, gallops back to the court. The wizard's still there. And uh, he's like, hey, hey buddy, f- fuck you. Why am I a horse? And the wizard's like, you need to play one game as a horse and <laughs> score 25 points in order to reverse the curse. And Jimmy's like, how the hell am I going to do that? The wizard disappears. Jimmy, frolicking around the neighborhood, probably the wrong word. He's galloping. What's different from galloping? I think that's the word, man. I think we found it. Yeah. Galloping around uh, the court. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe you called the hay thing. That was crazy. I have yeah. another prediction. I, Could, yeah, can I predict that it ends in the next 20 or 30 seconds? <laughs> I, I was going to say, that. think about who Kuzma's girlfriend is. Winnie? Winnie? Hmm. Wow. Danny, yeah. I'll tell you what, that's not written in the notebook. No. I'm going to write it down for next week, though, that's for sure. <laughs> Winnie Harlow. Damn, I apologize to our listeners. <laughs> I didn't mean to set off that trail of events. Anyway. Okay. Plays in a game that night, scores 26 points, curses reverse. And, uh... <laughs> How is any of that scary? And, what? It's my story. Ash. Why would you play horse with a wizard and lose and be surprised that you end up a horse? And then, um... He literally didn't have to play. Then he's at the court again, and this kid comes up. And uh, and he's like, Jimmy, want to play a game of pig? Pig. Mm. And Jimmy's like, Not this again. Just say no, dude. Yeah. And also, was the kid a wizard at that time? <laughs> End of story. I think the wizard was the big key that turned him into a horse. What's what? his name? Jimmy Two Step Nelson or something? Jimmy Two Step Baker. He sounds like he grew up like in the Oscar Robertson like Dolph Shays era. Yeah. You know, yeah. where like you could just. You could just score a layup at, he ex- at ease. He experienced you know? a lot of racism, so mm, let's not mm-hmm. criticize him mm. at all. Wait, uh, Jimmy did? Mm-hmm. Oh, I was thinking he was one of the white guys. Yeah, no, I, oh I, no. Okay. Oh, yeah. so you like to write stories where people of color turn into animals because mm. that's what they are to you? Wow. Well, no, I, I think of them as, I think of all my characters as human. I think we're going to have a couple disqualifications yeah, on this Jesus. one. I think Dog might be the only one. Who makes it out of us, you know? I don't, I don't think we should disqualify Danny. Okay. I think we should kill him. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we should find that wizard. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, pretty good story, though, right? Nope. Nope, not all at right. all. <laughs> not even uh, You know, it, it, it had some elements. Yeah. It, ha- it, it had, had legs. Yeah, it had. Oh, and it had hooves <laughs> and little yeah. horseshoes. Should have bought my story right before the fucking show. Yeah. That would have. And you bet your ass that if you vote me <laughs> off, you're going to be yeah. Venmoing me, too. I wish we yeah. could send that that story to the glue factory. <laughs> See, up. we still have fun with it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's mostly the P. Terry's working. Yeah. I was hungry. Yeah, I think my blood sugar's at a perfect level yeah. right now. And I'm thinking about dog I'm and my safe. dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh, your dog. How oh, sweet. Oh, gosh. And that movie you brought, great, Murphy. We'll have him on. We'll have my dog on. He'll be on. I bet he could write a better fucking story than Danny. (laughs) Woo! Let's start voting. Yeah, (laughs) baby. Yeah, someone blow the whistle. All right. Uh, Ashley, you were voted out last episode. You begin the proceedings. Um, It's easy for me. Dog sounds great. Murphy's got a sweet pup. I thought that you were making a lot of great points about this movie I haven't seen before. I'll be happy to check it out. Danny, you make me mad. You were making me mad before the story even started. Um, what with your AI tit nonsense. <laughs> so the story was really just insult to injury, and it sucked. Um, I forgot about the AI tit thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Weird, right? Damn, that was kind of a portent of doom for this entire episode when you think about it. Yeah, really upsetting stuff. Mm. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I vote you out. Mm, mm -hmm. All right. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I. Yeah, I mean, Ashley, you did break the rules. I, I think I'm willing to let it slide if it's the last time it happens. You know, we can't make a habit out of it, but... I certainly won't make a habit out of it. I had some tasty-ass P. Terry's. Like, that was good. Hit the spot on a mm, cold mm, day like mm. today. No one wanted to go home and cook. Yeah. I liked the I liked the beginnings of your story, but here's what you should try. Don't write... Don't put so much meticulous work into the beginning of the story. Work on the endings. I've told him that exact thing. I mean, yeah, because uh, you know, I think I think it was a better concept than it was better than uh, what was it, pineapple ponytail or whatever well, he, the last one you did. Danny was? does a thing remember. where he like writes, <laughs> he writes, um, he writes like a uh, elaborate commercial. No, I can. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not done with you. We're not no, done. No, no, I no, haven't. No, my hand's need... still on the piece. <laughs> uh, Danny, it's you. It's yeah. you. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. No, do you want to okay. vote? No. <laughs> I don't. Danny looks pissed. He's so sad. Danny looks like a horse right now, about to about to break out the stable. All right, I think we can't we can't have the people getting eliminated <laughs> sitting in that yeah, chair anymore. I need there. you to move one over because that's like you're basically on the podcast. Yeah, you got to get out of here, Danny. No, 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 no. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. Talk to me. Out yeah. of horse, out of mind. <laughs> out of horse, out of mind. Come on, that's your story title. We'll put it in the app. Ashley, what's going on? Nothing much. Yeah. Um, what is your uh, uh, best or worst freeze like story from the past couple of years? Mm. Been a couple of good freezes. I'm <laughs> saying this because it's gonna freeze tonight, and it's on my on my mind. Uh, probably when like I was living with my last roommates, and we went to the gas station. It took us two and a half hours, and brought back pretty slim pickings. And when we got home, our entire house was flooding, what? and we couldn't find the water valve for the longest time and it was like such a good day up to that point we're like it's snowing outside what a novelty let's go to the store we're all hanging out we're all bundled up we were like taking pictures like in front of shit like on the way back like yeah you know like Aww. just delaying the return and then we get home and yeah i kind of checked out after that i'll be it, honest it's crazy that it like waited until you guys left to flood yeah it's yeah funny. what about you uh my my best is that uh the past year, I didn't. I was between two nursing jobs. Mm -hmm. It was literally like that week. I was between two nursing jobs. It froze, and I didn't have to go to work because I was I was between two jobs, and I was like, "Oh my god, yeah. it's it's frozen!" And I get to stay home, and I like made waffles and played outside, and I was like, "This is fucking awesome!" Because yeah. usually, if it's frozen, hospitals are like, "Get your fucking ass in here right now!" And you have to wake up early. You need to watch everyone having fun on your phone, yeah. and you get home when it's dark. So last year was good. Yeah. Josh, you got any horror stories? Yeah. my uh, 2020, when that's when it snowed, right? Or when was it? 2020 was the big... Or no. 2021. 2021 was yeah, the big freeze. Okay. Mm -hmm. That uh, was really bad. Uh, what Was that the same year it snowed, though? That was the big snow. That was the big snow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was in front yard uh, making snow angels, and my neighbor was drunk. And peeled off in the tr his truck with his daughters and started skidding towards me. And I started like crab walking backwards as fast as I could. Damn. And he, right before he hit my curb, he corrected and then pulled. And then he gets out with a beer and his daughter's yelling at him. Oh like, my gosh. Dad, you got to slow down. What's wrong? He's like, it's my truck. You shut your mouth. And he's like, hey, neighbor, how's this weather? And I just, I was like, all right, whatever. Damn. I didn't want to talk to him. That yeah. is and fucking horrifying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard about when George did that, and I thought it was crazy <laughs> that we like, I didn't just know didn't, you and Danny just were neighbors. by the wayside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. That has us both beat, I think. But, uh, yeah, gr yeah, great. Uh, we're probably going to have another snowpocalypse on us on our hands here, so we're all bundled up, and uh, we appreciate you guys uh, listening this yeah. week. Cozy up and listen to the podcast where we just totally shit on Danny. Absolutely. And, and he deserved it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find Scumber Party at, at Scumber Party on Instagram. I am also dat underscore Ash Murph Dog. I'm shut up underscore Murphy. Josh? Uh, comedyfrequency.com. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for listening. Peace. Peace.